Hello guys and you're welcome. I'm going to show you how you can disable specific objects from being rendered on the scene. So for example, if I uh, go to render and I render this image, you can actually see the image right here. And also it's a small view because I went over to the output properties and I set this to a small size just so Blender can be a bit faster when it's working. So let's create a new object in the scene. So I'll do a shift A and I'll go to mesh and I'll create a uh, UV spare and I'll just drag that UV spare to the side. So again, a shortcut to render is function and F12. We can just press F12 and you can see we're rendering these two objects in the scene. If I turn off the cube, the cube won't be visible in the scene. But if I want to render again, we can actually see the cube is still visible even though in my scene I can't see the cube. To quickly fix this, what we need to do is to turn off the render preview, which is the camera icon right here. So to click this, I'm going to disable the cube in renders and it means the camera here is deselected. So next, if I press function and F12, we'll actually only see the cube in this, uh, the spare in the scene, but the cube won't be visible in our render view. Another quick way you can do this is to go to the filters option and you can disable renders globally. So disable in renders, if I click on this, it's going to disable that view like so. So I'll just leave it on and then deselect the objects I don't want to render in my scene. So again, if I add another shape, let's go ahead and add a uh, another cube. And I'll just drag this towards the back of the X axis. And for these two, if I disable the second cube as well, now I should have only the UV sphere. So I'll just go to function and F12. So I'm just seeing the UV sphere. If I enable this and I run my render preview, I'm seeing the two cubes, excluding this one. And if I want to see everything, I'll just make sure I select this such that when I run this, I can now see everything in my scene. So it's a very simple thing, but quite difficult and confusing, especially when you're starting with Blender. I hope this was helpful. Give a like and subscribe.